Good morning, my friends. I'm back today with a cool little trick that traces back to my childhood. Now, a lot of you have probably seen this done before. I'm doing this video for those of you who haven't. It's really simple, it's really fun, and honestly, it's something you can go try right now. All you're gonna need for this experiment is a fork, a spoon, a couple of matches or some toothpicks, and some kind of a glass or a container that you can set them on. When you've got your fork and your spoon, we simply wanna push them together, taking the tip of our spoon and pushing it into the tines of the fork. What we're looking for here are the two outer tines of the fork on the back side of the spoon and the inner tines right in the center. What this does essentially is turn your fork and spoon into a little pendulum that you can balance on your finger. But here's where it gets really cool. Take your matchstick and push the back end of it through the center tines of the fork about an eighth of an inch. Now if you center it just right and hold this by the head of the match, you can see the whole thing balances. And if you set this down on the edge of a container or a glass, it almost seems to do the impossible. It balances in place. The reason this trick works is because we're manipulating the center of gravity. The mass in the handles of the fork and spoon are actually heavier than they are the heads. This point on the matchstick right here is called the center of gravity. It's the exact perfect point where the whole system can be balanced. And because the majority of the weight is actually below that center of gravity, it makes the whole system very stable, which means you can jiggle it a little bit and it won't fall off. Now take your fork and your spoon, pull out your matchstick, and this time we're going to put it in the top tine here. Now you'll find that in this configuration, when we set it down on the edge of our cup, our fulcrum point has shifted to about the center point of the matchstick. So we've got half the matchstick on one side, half the matchstick on the other. So now here's the question. If we light the end of this matchstick on fire, how much of the wood will have to be burned to tip the balance, making the fork and spoon fall off? Go ahead and make your predictions in the comments right now. Will the fork and spoon fall off the second we light the match off? Or do you think it'll actually hang on until the flame burns the wood past the edge of the glass? Let's light it up and find out. Three, two, one, Ignition. All right, we got our flame. You can see the matchstick starting to burn here. The system hasn't moved. It's not even shaking. We've consumed about a quarter of the matchstick. We're coming up on the edge. And here's the moment of truth. The flame's a little bit past the edge and it just went out. Did you guys see that? The flame was burning and then as soon as it hit the edge of the glass, it spontaneously went out. It like extinguished itself. Look at the black charred match head here and if we just tap that with another matchstick, we can actually break it right off. Look at that. And that's the exact fulcrum point of the system. Perfectly balanced. Let's try that again and see if we can get it to burn any further. I'm gonna tilt this one slightly uphill so it burns a little faster. Approaching the edge of the glass with good speed. There it is. And the flame dies out. Every single time, every single time, guys, the flame hits the edge of this glass, the flame goes out. Let's try it one more time just to be sure. I'm actually gonna stand over here just to make sure that my breath isn't interfering. The flame is past the edge. And Yep, every single time. So guys, this is really interesting. Three times we lit these off, and all three times, the flame traveled to the edge of the glass, sometimes beyond, but before the thing actually fell off, the flame went out. Why do you think that is? It's very interesting, very curious, isn't it? And here's something else that's cool. If you take another matchstick, you can actually balance this right on the tip. So that's it guys, extremely cool experiment with gravity and center of gravity that you can go try right now. And if you've already tried this trick before, go try it again or share it with a friend. It's just as much fun the second time. Thanks for joining me for this experiment guys. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. My bad, I just dropped the fork and spoon and broke my glass. Cost of doing business. Bye bye martini glass, you serve us well. Hey guys, quick reminder that limited time King of Random t-shirts are now on sale. Click the link at the top of the description or visit randomgear.com. See you there.